Hey Aquarius, it's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I am grabbing my coffee because I'm here for your end, middle, end of the month, July 2020 reading. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to thank you guys for being patient. Life's gotten, you know, life is life, right? So sorry this took so long, um, but we are going to get to the tarot since I get my coffee together over here let's just go on and get to the tarot okay and so um, I'm gonna pull three you just got I've got my stands three Oracle cards and then we may pull some um, tarot to kind of um, you know clarify but we're gonna be using the sacred destiny Oracle today we're not keeping um, anyone very long because I'm going to start working on those August too, but let's see what we're going to do for the, what we can do um, and what spirit has for us for the rest of July. So sun, moon, and rising Aquarius for the remainder of July, sun, moon, and rising for Aquarius for the remaining remainder of July. Three cards, please. Oh, fulfillment came out for you. Now that came out for... Cappies. Mm, opportunity. Trying to get that to focus. Sorry, guys. Opportunity. And then one more, please. gateway i love this i love this so aquarians um <laughs> you know i'll tell you what this your your message today is very very similar to the message that i've had for the majority of the collective um majority of all the zodiac signs in that this is a season and a time. This is the moment in time where we stop looking for fulfillment on the outside, from the outside, and really find that fulfillment from internally. Um, Aquarians tend to find that a little bit easier, except if you're looking for the external world to walk the walk and talk the talk that you want them to. And I will say that even when you're correct, because I'm not going to say that you're not correct, right? So I've learned a lot from my Aquarian friends and acquaintances. The one thing, though, that kind of always gets me a little bit is... Um, that unless the group is kind of following along the path, sometimes, um, that you put forward, then it's like there's problems, right? There's like issues, like we've got, we got big issues, we got big problems, we are gonna, you know, I, I think sometimes if, if, if there's not, you know, if everyone's not listening or if people are, aren't really hearing you and following you and uh, um, what you're saying, and what you're putting forward and how you're trying to guide us in a good direction, um, you're not fulfilled. You're not, there's not a happiness there. Um, you feel like you're not being heard and you feel like you're not being like respected in some ways. And what I hear this morning is that Keep saying what you're saying. Keep speaking out. Keep speaking truth. Keep speaking knowledge. Keep speaking what spirit puts on your heart, and find the fulfillment in the fact that you are get that you are hearing and understanding. But also learn. So keep learning. Um, 
but keep speaking. And it's okay to have a discussion of ideas and ideals. And it is okay for people to disagree with you. It really honestly is because we learn, right? We learn a lot in those times, in those spaces. We, it's iron sharpening iron, okay? You're gonna have the opportunity with this opportunity card, you're gonna have the opportunity to be heard and have the opportunity to be not just heard, but celebrated. You're gonna have the opportunity for your perspective to be shared. You're going to have the opportunity for, um, for your advice to be taken. You're gonna have the opportunity to get on this bigger stage, so to speak. You're gonna have the opportunity to, for some of you, there's other career opportunities and financial opportunities as well, where you're gonna find the fulfillment. So more so in the path that you wish, right? Um, but I just have this like feeling like a lot of you have been fighting against the grain. And probably a lot of that has to do with, you know, Saturn going into retrograde and coming out of your sign and then going from its second home and then going back into Capricorn. So now there's a feeling of restriction where in Saturn, Saturn and Aquarius is a lot freer to explore new ways, a new foundation, a new way of doing things. And you had a glimpse of that. And then all of a sudden now it's kind of like, well, we're regressing. And you can look at the society and see and see that there's a huge level of regression happening. Um, where it looked as if we were gonna be able to kind of, you know, we've got Elon Musk sending, you know, satellites, with private citizens up there and up into space and you know a lot of things different like technology different things happening and then all of a sudden we're now back into this like very primal rather medieval chaos and um rage um that's difficult for an aquarian to survive in because you're you're like higher thought higher your evolutionary thinking and evolutionary action um but you're going to have the opportunity coming up very soon and so the the end of this month really this gateway card the end of this month is you preparing your own gateway the end of this month is you kind of settling into you and understanding that even if nobody really understands or hears you right now you're going to have that opportunity to do so but you're going to have to find the fulfillment where you're you find fulfillment within yourself and define yourself by yourself don't define yourself by what your external is right um situation is you recreate your external situation by your you defining yourself so you find your fulfillment you create your opportunity and you open up the door you and source together and co-creating of course but this is on you and not on everybody else the way that you're going to bust out into the world and help to change the world the way you're going to change your world is by going inward first before we go outward saying do this do that do this do that right that's what we need to do first so i hate i shouldn't have said need this is what you're being encouraged to do you have your own choice um but i want you to find fulfillment within because that is truly that's true fulfillment that's real long lasting right and in that regard, then you can open up. Then opportunities come to you because as you are fulfilled and steady and secure, you're not looking for external validation. And because you're not looking for external validation, you're able to more effectively allow your spirit to open up the gateways to the promise. That's what I have for you, um, Aquarians. Thank you so very much. I really, really, really appreciate you being here. Um, leave me some comments. Let me know how you're, let me know what's going on. If you want to work with me, go to heartofinspiration.net. The, li the link is down in the description box as well. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And hit that bell button so you know when I'm putting up new content. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste.